Hello and welcome to the LDM Show. Another year, another nice day here at the 152nd Festival of the Puerto Rican Festival before the Puerto Rican Parade. So you guys can see us there as well. But if you can see behind me, a bunch of NYPD getting ready to join the festival. It ain't a riot. It's just to keep it down and safe. But uh, this is the first year that I've seen something like this in the festival. Cars like this, cars like that, all in the festival today in 152nd Street. And as you can see, the owners in the background there for the vehicles. So nice cars. And as we spin around, we can see the beauty of a lot of cars out here. And then you cannot forget it has to have a Puerto Rican flag on the top. That's the only way it can be here. <laughs> if it has a Puerto Rican flag on the top. <laughs> so, but again, yeah, the, the van behind me is blue, but it's not the red, white, and blue, so we got to keep on moving. <laughs> so we have a lot of people here today with the uh, red and white on. Uh, red, white, and blue. I'm sorry. Red, white, and blue. But as you can see, once we turn the corner, the whole sea of colors that are out here today. And then we also have the kids festival, uh, festival here that they're actually doing for the... Oh, this is a wildlife, a wildlife thing here that they're having here today for the New York Aquarium. So they are showing you here, and they actually have a bunch of the kids doing uh, artwork, and we got a balloon. I guess that's a dog that she just made right now. So, uh, you know, they're doing things for the kids here as well, having fun. She got a bunch of swords getting ready to hit the kids, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> when, I told you, one penning per person. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> so again, we're having the kids draw here, the kids with the bubbles, having fun. And as you can see, someone drew their reminiscence of the Puerto Rican flag right there. It's a little pinkish, but it's all right, though. You know, it's a, it's a good colors. Then we got the, the bubble maker here, making my performance good. The clowns. So we got a bunch of kids having fun here today and having uh, a good time here at the 152nd Festival. So it's not all about the music you hear in the background. It's all about family eating, which standing here, I'm already getting hungry. I can smell the, the rice and the panin. So I'm just being a, a greedy hog at the moment, but we got to keep on walking. And it's funny because I'm walking backwards. What's kind of... <laughs> do you want... Want to turn? There we go. <laughs> so, again, we're right here at the 152nd Festival, and we're having a lot of fun. You got to, I got to talk a little bit louder, because as we're moving in, you're going to hear a lot of the music of the Latin Festival. And we're going to see a lot of the colors, a lot of the uh, people here. We got the head count. We got to register to vote, so you got a guy who's got to register to vote as well. Then we have we have a good artwork. Oh, that got to go down. I can't pick it up. But we got good artwork here from the. Looks like a Tagalino. This is your artwork. What's uh, What's your name? Samuel Rios. How we doing? We're doing good over here. So you're the artist? I am. Wow. So how long does it take you to normally do something like this? Woo! You know what? We got we got good replay. We just keep on the interview. We don't care. It takes a couple days to color depending on the size. If they color, it takes even longer. Oh, wow. So it's called Samuel Rice Code. You can go get it at a Hispanic. Studio, just check it out. We're gonna have it on our website right here. Woo. So we're gonna put it on our website and check them out. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So no problem. Maybe we'll contact you, bring you on our Spanish show. We never know. 
All right, thank you. So we got friends out here. What's up? What's up, my brother? How you doing? Good, good. I see you selling the Puerto Rican stuff, right? Yeah, well, I'm selling the Puerto Rican flag, representing our country, and this is what I do, and I represent Puerto Rico. There you go. I got friends from all places, neighborhood friends. <laughs> we got dancers, well, somewhat. A dancer. So we got a lot of time here. Como está? Bien? Como tu está? Muy bien. Me imagino, ok? Un besito. Cógelo suave, ok? Gracias por venir. That's what it's all about. I love my elders, and they are the, the future. So watch out for them. So, if we keep on coming down this way, I don't get none. Like, but uh. Woo! I gotta turn. Oh wow! We got the guardian angels in the house. I remember them from way back. So they still patrolling the thing. Thank you for patrolling. Thank you for keeping the, the neighborhood safe and everything. I know English. Los dos, whichever one you want. It is my honor, my privilege being in this event today with the beautiful people, the beautiful community. Anything that the guardian angels could do, you could always contact us. 646-904-3786. It's a done deal. I'm surrounded by beautiful people. There you go, the guardian angels, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, keep up the good work, guys. And a lot of them are still volunteers. So, you know, they do their best to be out here with all the kids. And you can see. Well, I, I, you know what I said? I said, if you can see the food, I can smell it. But you got to wind up seeing it. We got a lot of uh, things back here. Como está? Bien, bien. So, this is the first time I actually see that they got the pony in the background. Let's see if we can get a little hee haw back here. So, you got to see. In, in Puerto Rico, this is basically how a lot of us get around. My, you know, my uncle got two of these, so <laughs> I know how that is. But uh, they are not little horses or miniature. They call it mini horses, I guess. But we're watching all these kids come out here today. And if you can see these kids with the mask on, you got Spider-Man getting ready. You know, let's see if we can get an interview. Hey, how you doing? Good. See, yeah, he said he was good. He said he, he said Ta bien. That's why he said. <laughs> so let's go out here and get some uh check out the food. The food is where we really want to come for. That's what I came for. Right? Right. You see? That's why everybody comes for the food. I catch them when they're eating, they be like, oh Diablo. Damn. <laughs> So, hey, Will, what's your favorite food? Your favorite Latin food? I got Will in the background uh, making sure nobody bump into people. Which one? Mandura. Oh, my God. He, he, went, he went Dominican on me. <laughs> well, it's Latin. True, true, true. But uh, I'm trying to find out. Oh, we're in the toy section. Yeah, we're in the toy section. Oh, okay. The what? Oh, yeah, well. We got Super Sonic with the red, <laughs> right, and blue. That's a Puerto Rican Sonic right here. That's a Puerto Rican Sonic right there. <laughs> there you go. Well, I, I always knew Sonic was Puerto Rican because the way he runs, the only time you can run like that if you're Puerto Rican in the Bronx running away from the cops. You know what I'm saying? So he got, <laughs> he got the speed, he got the speed. <laughs> well, I'm getting the signal that I gotta come over here for the food. So let's check out the food.
If we can get in here. Uh, well, as you can see, this is a basic part of being in the Latin festival. You got the pink pinches. It looks like it's meat, chicken, jocedos, arroz con bichuela. You can't have a place without arroz and gandules, which is rice and green beans. You can't go into a, a Latin festival without two things, arroz con gandules and penile. If you don't got that, get out of here. <laughs> right? Am I right or am I right? Right? Paca. Exactly what I say. Yeah, those, yeah, and pinches. You got you to gotta have those. So no matter what Latin party you go to, they have those three things. So as we work our way to the uh, to the festival, or what I can say, the concert, we're right here just walking in the midst of everybody today. And we got a couple crew, I like that they come dressed up together. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't be walking around without a Puerto Rican flag. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have one. And not oh, we can't. We gotta. We gotta worry about food from our heritage as well. We got jerk chicken, whitey fish. Yeah. So you know, that's what it's about. It's just, It looked like this is where we're going to come for our lunch break. <laughs> so I'm going around. I'm going to about, you know what? I'm going to start doing my little Q&A thing. See who knows the history of Latin. How many people you think would know the history of Latin? We don't know. But I'll tell you this much. Hi, right, how we doing? Okay. Hi. Right. Hi. <laughs> So I'm gonna ask a couple of the people here. We got family, friends, 20, you know, kids rocking the Saisa Boricua shirts. ¿Cómo está? Bien, ¿y usted? ¿De qué lado de Puerto Rico está? De Mayagüey. De Mayagüey. Hey. De Mayagüey, Puerto Rico. Ay, ay, ay. Soy bien puertorriqueño, igual que la bandera. Lo mismo. Lo mismo. <laughs> Cojo lo suave. Cierto, gracias. Y, Y cógelo con, con todos los calmas. Eh, eso vale. Y estoy en 77 años y a mí me dicen el matatá. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Así somos. 77 years old and he's like, hey, I'm going to keep on dancing. So, I like that. Muchas gracias por todo. De nada, de nada. Gracias. Gracias. 77 years old, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, and this is how it is at 77 years old and they still dancing and, and having fun. Hey, who said Latin fathers don't be pushing babies? <laughs> I tell you. And then you got your original, original CDs. That's a lot. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. Again, I'm here at the 152nd festival again. Burning hot. Want to go back to the studio, but I got to be here. But anyway, uh, having fun with the scene. Whoop! Whoop! God. That was a close up. I was like, hey, how you doing? 
It's a close up here. But anyway, we're in the 152nd um, Festival. Remember, we're going to be at the Puerto Rican Festival, but I'm going to be on the top, you know, on the top of the Puerto Rican Festival with the uh, ABC and all of them. So check us out as well. There we go. That, you're going to hear that a lot. Vive Puerto Rico, but she got to say it with emotion, I guess. So, uh, but we're here. Back friends over here with the snakes and stuff. That's my bodyguard, my snake right there. <laughs> What's the show about? It'll let you know all that. My guy in the, in the background. So, uh, but again, we're here. We ate the food. Watch your back. We ate the food. We tried out all the stuff. You know. Lo gente aquí, lo, lo gente aquí hablando, pero yo voy a hacer, yo voy a hacer, yo voy a chequear. Yo voy a, Oh, estoy, estoy chequeando que tú estás hablando, pero, you know, haciendo... de la actividad que está buena y la estamos ah. disfrutando como tiene que ser. Así es, ¿eh? ¿y tú? No, yo estoy bien, que tú no le... Mira, los latinos aquí se va corriendo. Corriendo, pero estamos presentes. Puerto Rico dice presente. Ahí, ahí está. He got warrants, that's why he probably ran. Some of the Latin people, you know, they got to do their thing. But I tell you this much, there's one good thing about being outdoors is you get to see a lot of the different type of people, the families that are uh, around and stuff like that. So they're getting their drink on. Look, look, look at this guy with his drink with the umbrellas. See? Everybody, everybody. That's why they, it's, it's like they say, hoy se bebe. That's why everybody got their drinks, their food. Y la, y la, mira, mira, la comida, diablo. <laughs> hey, I tell you, the live people love their food, you know. Their drinks and their food, they're going to hang out. But uh, again, as we trying to work our way to the, uh, to the stage, we got a lot of people out here, como están? Bien, bien. Hey. Oh, look, we got a parakeets in the back. Parrots. They got names? Um, Betty, Betty Boo and Rocky Baboa. Betty Boo and Rocky Baboa. They talk yet? No, not yet. If they talk, they stay home. Man, I... <laughs> all righty, all righty. Take care. <laughs> Hey, everybody brings out their animals and stuff like that, you know? It's a festival, I guess, so you want to bring out the special things. Como tan, como tan? Espérate, ¿a quién tú habla? A mi hija. Ah, okay. Siento que estamos acá. So that's right. It's hard to get through the crowd. You know, my guys are doing their best they could. But we're working our way up to the uh, stage area where we normally be. And we have... Espérate, espérate. Espérate. This is, this is a Puerto Rican ensemble. Aquí. Con el gorrito, el pantalón corto. That's how it is, eh? Positivo, positivo. Mi nombre es Teresa. ¿Y cómo está Teresa? Me siento muy bien. ¿Y de dónde? De, de San Juan, de dónde? De Cupa y Alto, de Piedras. Oh. Está bien, está bien. Pero... She reminds me so much of my aunt, so I had to stop. La tía mía siempre con el gorrito ahí, cuando va para allá y, y sigue por ahí. Eso no falta, eso no falla, eso puede fallar. Puerto Rica, Puerto Riqueña, ciento por ciento. Así es, con el bebido y todo. <laughs> café, café. Ok, vamos a decir café, vamos a decir, no, no. <laughs> con lo suave. Hey, that's how it is over here. I love, I love the, uh, the people, the what they wear. She came out sporty. She was like, I'm going to be relaxed with my shorts and everything. That's how you got to be. But all you're going to see out here is a lot of food. Uh, eh, all, the Rican pro all that. Oh, I let's try to go towards the bikes on this side. The bike club. I want to try to take you guys to the bike club. It's a Latin bike club of men. What you're going to see is not the normal bike club that I'm talking about. It's a different type of bike club. Yeah. So, are we getting in? We're going to get in and you can see 
the bike club that I was talking about is not your regular motorcycle bike club. It is your regular customized bike club. So you can see. We got, I got, I like, uh, I'm already liking the little chrome black over here. They got their stuff shiny. So, and this is from Bronx. They got a Bronx club, as you can see. The vintage Bronx club. So, like I said, the Vintage Bike Club is not a motorcycle club. It's a bike club. And you can see the gadgets and gizmos. And Oh, I sound like a uh, Little Mermaid right there real quick. With the gadgets and gizmos. But, uh, I, wow. How, how can you pick your favorite? And if you can see, is that a swing? Yeah, that's a swing bike. And for you guys that don't know, these bikes are from the 1940s to the 50s. So, and that's a club you can see in the background, the vintage down this way. Let me see if I can get somebody that can say what year this bike was. I, if, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, 1950 maybe, something like that. Let me see if I can get, how we doing? How are we doing here? Today? Good. We are we're hanging out today, but all the guys you see they all spread out, left their bikes behind. So we are here watching them. You know? I got a question. That's a swing bike, correct? Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking 1950, 1960 maybe. Uh, 1964. By 40 maybe. 30s. I was I was far. I said 40s around there. 40s to the 60s, but that's in the 30s, right? That swing bike. The one in the blue one. The red one? Yeah, the, Those are the, the 30. 30? Wow. So you see, these are history as well. And you only can get that in the Bronx. So I'm happy to be part of that in the Bronx here. So. ¿Qué parte? Eh, Mayaway. Mayaway, porque lo dije así. Excuse me. Bronx Club. Yes, yes. I, yeah, I heard of your club uh, last year. I seen you guys. Y'all, you know, came out this year. You're representing. You know, so uh, as a president, how how can someone be a part of the the? They can just come with a 1930 bike and be like, hey, I want to be part of it. Uh, they got, they what's going in? There's no problem. And they can come in and you know we uh, we talk to them to see what they're about. And everybody in the group that decided they want to put them in or not. And, and I like it. It's a positive group. You know what I'm saying? They, they look all tough, but then they be like on their 10 speeds and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Next week, okay. <laughs> I asked him, will he, will he ride the bike from here to Puerto Rico? He was like, next week. Well, we'll, we'll try it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the vintage um, bike club from Bronx, New York. Check them out. Look at the back of it. You know, what? What's the oldest bike you guys have? I believe it's the. Right here. Well, that's the oldest guy. <laughs> the burgundy one right there. Oh, so the burgundy 30, 1930. Oh, okay. And then he's like eighteen something, and he's still going strong. Como está? Bien, bien. So, get the camera. So, this, get class every bicicleta. This is, the, this is the real vintage. Yeah, I know. I said the bike is 1930, but he's like an 18 something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. But you're going strong. Dame, dame para arriba. You like me? He said 80, huh? No, 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 no. I'm not 18. I'm 19. 80 years old. 80. Hey, goody. Yeah. Rice and beans. 80 years old. Rice and beans. Mira, mira, mira. Este, this side right here is rice and beans. And this side right here is Benin. <laughs> Benin. Li- <laughs> ¿Qué año? Eh, 70, uh, 70, 70, 79, 79. 82. 82. I like that, I like that. 
So y'all y'all do customize as well? Like you guys have I noticed a customized bike. All right, low rider right here. The big low rider, the big one. And uh, the other one that belongs to the other guy. Oh yeah, somewhere around there. He's we custom. We like put a lot of stuff, speakers, put systems in them, lights, everything nice. Just have fun. Yeah, that have fun. Just build our bikes, you know. There you go. Building bikes, playing dominoes, and having some fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Family. I like that. So, hey, this is the 152nd Fest. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And again, we got to rewind again from last year. And you know, I, they gave me this card and I'm like, wait a minute, I know these boys <laughs> from last year. So uh, first of all, how's it been? It's been a year. How's it, how's it going for you guys? A lot of good stuff has happened. We got 10 producers behind us all over America, almost done with our album. Check it out, Rosados.rocks. And yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. We've been on so much stages. It's, it's been wonderful, yeah. And again, we're like planning to get on more stages, and this time, um, one of the ten producers, Daniel Anasio, is our choreographer. He trained Boys to Men, Mariah Carey, MC Hammer, lots of big artists around the '90s. So, uh, producers like him will be in very good hands. So, as long as we. So, so you guys, y'all been performing on all, so many stages now, and, and how how's it feel like to be on the you know the light, like everybody knowing you who you are now? Feels great. Feels love it, love it, love it. Yeah. So I, I like your outfits. First of all, yeah. you got the red, white, and blue. You got the blue. You got the red. You know, showing the uh, the Spanish heritage around here and stuff like that. But would you ever thought a year later that this would be happening to you guys? No, 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 not really. I mean, this is amazing. You know, yeah. just truly wonderful. Yeah, because we didn't we didn't know that like a lots of lots of people would be wanting to help us out, and we really appreciate. We're really thankful for all those people that are helping us out with our career, and um, hopefully someday we can make it, and then everyone will be talking about us. Well, they, they, they would, you know. Like I said, we still want you guys to come on our show. We also have now the first uh, music awards ceremonies here for three years in a row. So, you know, you guys got to put your music in, you know, get some votes, become an artist of the year. You never know. There's a, there's a whole things that can happen for artists now here today but it's a uh, spanish heritage basically i don't call it uh latin day uh, spanish heritage and stuff like that are y'all part spanish or where y'all from puerto rico yeah yeah do you know your puerto rican history or your learning yeah our mom's from salinas yeah oh so you guys are from but y'all were born here right yeah, yeah. Yeah. So y'all like me, you know, Amer American Ricans, I guess. <laughs> New York Ricans, right? Yeah, we were born here in New York. So, but uh, what is the next step for you guys? Um, see, national parade, and then we'll see where it takes us. You know. Yeah, oh, then I'll be seeing y'all probably in the national parade. Yeah, you know, y'all be on the float. Uh, or walking. Yeah. Hi, hi, I'm David. I'm Hub Manager. They're going to be in the parade. They've got a song, Proud to Be, Puerto Rican and American. Proud to be song.com. You can see it. And they're going to be performing behind the, the parade or behind the uh, truck. And about 40 people will be joining them. And we're just having a good time with it. That's going to be great. You know, we're, we're going to hopefully see you guys if my guys push me to go that direction. Because uh, I'll be every year there. So I don't know which area they're going to put me this year. But I like to walk. I just walk the whole parade and talk to everybody. <laughs> so, again, yes. Yes. I'd like to say thank you to Mr. Aluli, Rafael Martinez, because he gave these guys a break. Last May 2nd, we wrote it. We wrote it on May 2nd, 2018. Proud to be Puerto Rican and American, okay? And three weeks later, he says, hey, do you think these guys would be afraid to be in front of a sea of people? I'm thinking, yeah, you know, 100 people. I worked with a lot of promoters. He was so correct. And when they jumped on stage, I thought, oh, my gosh, they're going to panic. And they didn't. And then what happened after that is one invitation after another after another. They were for like 200,000 people last summer so we come here to celebrate to say thank you and we will be at the national parade but then all summer who knows what's going to happen next well oh well i'll tell you we have a, a festival called summer bash 
where we get back to the community, we get book bags out, uh, the, the kids come out and perform for free for the community. If you guys ever want to come, it's September 7. Y'all welcome to perform, show your name, give out autographs. And 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 here's the kicker: it's video recorded for live TV. So you get you be on TV on channel 68 on our station and everything else. And the only thing is, I'm not the host. It's the teenagers. It's all run by kids. So that'll be a perfect place for you guys to represent yourselves. And it's always packed because it's free book bags. When something is free, it gets packed. <laughs> But again, R-O-S-A-D-O-S dot rocks. So check them out uh, and let them know that you've seen them here and let, um, that you like their song. So again, guys, it was an honor to see you again this year. So hopefully I see you guys, you know. Um, remember, you guys can come to the show, come be interviewed on our live show, be interviewed on the kids' show. You always help. The LDM Network is always welcome for you guys, you know. And my show, of course, the LDM show, is, you want to be on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, like I said, this is probably not the last you've seen them, and I told you that, and they came back again this year. So this is Charles Aloma. We're here at the 152nd Festival. We'll be right back with more interviews and more backstage stuff. So stay tuned. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination. The scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. smoke here today. Wow. But anyway, we expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LVM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to life. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. Oh, hey, welcome back. This is Charles Aloma, but we gotta speak Spanish now. So I gotta, you know, like I say, put the sap sound on. Okay, uh huh. Pon el otitolo ahora porque voy a hablar en español. So, cógelo con take it easy. Que ya vamos. Pero, tú estabas cantando ahora mismo. Primero, dile el nombre tuyo. El, mi nombre es AROK, Arok Baby. En todas las redes sociales me pueden conseguir así, como AROK. Si creas una nueva aplicación, me buscas en AROK. Ahí, mi Yeah, AROK, ahí. AROK, Arok. Ahora, este, este es el primer año que tú estabas aquí. Sí, aquí presentándome aquí es la primera vez con un público grande. Me había presentado ya muchas veces, pero siempre es para soltar a uno. Entonces, hay música mía. Ya yo tengo temas que han salido, pero hace poco filmé con la disquera de Terror Squad, que es la de Fat Joe. Eh, entonces pues estamos trabajando ya va a salir este no quiere saber no quiero saber vale, se me olvida mi canción no quiero saber papi tú sabes cuántas canciones yo tengo papi no quiero saber de ti eh, esa tiene video so, vamos a salir con esa pronto ahora en verano no tengo fecha pero ya ahí me sorprendemos ah, tú oyes todo ese ruido atrás pero estoy hablando vamos a ver si, si coge bien pero el, el canción tuyo que tú estabas cantando con el viejita y todo eso, ay, ay, ese ay, fue una historia ahí. Sí. Dime, dime un poquito de eso. Pues mira, este, lo del baile, eso fue idea del coreógrafo con las bailarinas, me dijo para hacer algo distinto. Entonces, pues yo quise salirme de mi línea para intentar algo nuevo, ¿me entiendes? Algo un poquito más teatral para que la gente se lo goce. Eh, más que en mi primer show aquí en el Bronx, nunca me ha presentado en el Bronx. So, papi, yo soy de PR full, ¿me entiendes? Y criado allá, castado allá, todo. La, la, la primer día aquí, la primer día, wow, tú estás haciendo mucho de, primero. Sí, pero ya yo había venido antes al Bronx, pero no había cantado, no, nunca había cantado, nunca, eso no. So. Pero 
es canción tuya, nada más es reggaetón o tú cantas diferentes cosas? Mira, yo, mi línea es el desamor, eh, antes de filmar, pero yo hago comercial de todo, también compongo, eh, tengo temas compuestos para otros artistas, so, ya tú sabes, dándole de todo, porque me gusta hacerle todo, a mí, a mí me encanta la composición, gacho. No, me gustó esa canción, yo estaba ayer, me gustó, ya la obra. Y tenía los bailarlos. Yo dije, espérate, déjame bailar también ahí. Que me sí. le swing, adiós, te tiene que meter por las venas. Eso está en las venas. Eso sale. Eso tú eres, que no soy allá, tú eres. Bueno, nací aquí, pero la mamá y papá de Puerto Rico, uh, de sí. San Juan y de Río Grande. Pero papi, perre en la casa. <risa> La Pero ¿dónde te puedes encontrar? En, en YouTube, todo en eso? YouTube, a Rock Baby, en Instagram, a Rock Baby, en Facebook, a Rock Baby, en Twitter, a Rock Baby, en todos lados. Yo soy el baby de Rock, a Rock Baby, el baby de las nenas, de todo y del combo somos papi, ya tú sabes, los más duros. Estamos activos. Ah. Así es, yo, búscalo, chequeala en YouTube. Tú no va, mira, esa canción estaba bueno, so, chequea la canción, yo te digo de verdad, tú lo vas a oír, te vas a bailar y todo eso. Yeah. Va a gustar, les va a gustar, no los voy a decepcionar de verdad. Gracias por el apoyo, Bombo, se le quiere mucho. LDM. Papi, este es como mi nombre, hay que deletrearlo. Juana. <laughs> hey, this is the LDM Show. Baby's right here. Check him out. We'll be right back. Radio station in the world. In the world. Is right here. Right now. Hello and welcome back to the LDM show. And I'm happy and I'm proud to have my friend here. EC's in the house. What's going thank on? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Castro and Gambino who, ha who got me here. So. Yeah, oh, my yeah. God. They were here. Oh, no, no. Matter of no. fact, no, I didn't see them t this year. They'll be here. They'll be here in a minute. They're oh, okay. parking. Yeah, yeah. So... Things that are happening new with him. First of all, cut his name since the last time. Now he, he's also in a band. Yep. So, and the band is doing good. Number four on the charts. So check it out. Keep continue voting for them. It's called Funk... Uh, Sisa Urban. Funk Sisa Urban. Yep. Go to the LDMRadio.com and check out the Latino sign and go down and just check it up on them. But uh, what else has been going on, man? Just performing a lot. I just got back from Chicago. Awesome people, awesome crowd. Uh, the feedback was amazing. Um, our song also got picked up in Germany by a dance group who's going to put on this huge performance. So God is good. We're, I've been blessed by such a great band. I've been blessed by God and just, you know, great energy. My God, I know. We, we follow you on, on uh, Instagram and we've seen all the stuff and the bartending stuff, everything, you know. You've you're just been busy, busy, busy. Busy, yeah, you gotta still pay the bills, right? So. <laughs> yeah, hey, but uh, how different it is now that from you still um, sing single, you know, by yourself, but how different it is to sing with the whole band? Very different, yeah. very different because you know, when you go on interviews or interviews like this, it's not about EC, it's about the whole entire band. So, which is a great thing, I don't mind sharing the stage, especially with these guys who are amazing. Um, you know, it's just different because now it's like, who's gonna talk? You know, it's just like. Things are differently coordinated. We have dance moves that we do on stage, routines and outfits we have to worry about. You know, it's not the way I used to dress my own with the shield on my arm and stuff like that. So I like it. It's a good change. Uh, I can imagine because you know how, how the little uh, side side bands, they always got that. that uh, you got you to gotta do it together, you know. Yeah, yeah. But this uh, is more of a, it's not like the, the, the salsa bands that you see out there. Respect right, right. to all of them. This is more of like a new school, new era type of feel. Even the outfits, the dance moves, everything. We incorporate, you know, the old school with the new school, English, the Spanish, and even the outfits, you know. It's just everything is old school and new school. Wow. But again, ladies and gentlemen, EC, you know him from our show. If you want to know more about him, check it out behind the mics, EC Sacero. It's there, but that's not his name now, but it's on the uh, YouTube page like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to. be my name. It's all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> easy, easy, salsero. Everybody already knows right. you like that. Who knows what else it'll change, too. <laughs> but check him out. Keep continue to vote for him as well. And check out the performance coming up uh, on this show that he's going to be on the stage soon. So check that out. 
And again, thank you for always stopping by and letting us know, you know? Of course, thank and you. And tell your mother and your sister I said hello. So. I will, I will. But we'll be right back. <laughs> Hello y buenas tardes, bueno, no, no tarde todavía, pero estoy aquí y, y estoy trayendo otra persona que canta reggaetón y cosas así para pa ustedes saber de los latinos de aquí que está hoy. Y dile rapidito el nombre. Bueno, voy por el nombre de Sabi Low. Sabi Low. Sabi Low. Yeah. Wow, wow. Y usted va a cantar aquí por la primera vez, ¿verdad? Ah, por la primera vez en el Bronx, sí, cantando. Ah, ¿Cómo te sientes? Me siento súper orgulloso de estar aquí con todos mis boricuas, toda la gente de Puerto Rico y estamos aquí activos. Yo already know, New York in the house, the Bronx. Hey, yo, he's profiling the classes and everything. So I like that. Well, um, usted va a cantar um, reggaeton hoy, para la primera vez aquí en, en el Bronx. Y, y tú oyes la gente, la gente sí. está gritando y todo. Y, 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 y cómo... Tú sacas lo, lo, como la energy de, de ellos. Yeah, la energy de ellos. I, you know, I feel the vibe, the, the energy, you know, uh, positive energy. So once you see that, ya como que ya tú te pones contento y más como que más eléctrico. Ah. Y, y, y canción que tú vas a cantarle hoy, dime, dime un poquito de eso. Bueno, vamos a cantar lo que piensa en mí, que es la nueva canción mía. Vamos a cantar Sin Ti, que es otra canción mía que se pegó en Nueva York y ya, acabo, ya va para casi los un millón de streams en Spotify. Este, y, manda un, y un perreo ahí para la gente. ¿Tiene video de, de esa canción? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. me pueden chequear por uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Savi Low, Oficial, Underscore, and you find it, definitely find the YouTube. ¿Y qué, qué canción? ¿De, de qué? ¿De, ¿De amor? ¿O qué, o qué te no, cuenta de la canción? Bueno, la, un poco. De, la de Sin Ti es algo para las nenas, ¿sabes? Algo para las nenas, amor. Eh, la de billete en el aire, un perreo, party. Piensa en mí, otra para las nenas y todo así. Pero son canciones duras. Oh, ok, ok. Oh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Pero, um, ¿qué más tú vas a hacer de aquí? Porque hoy es esto, ¿qué es mañana? Eh, bueno, después de esto, estamos este, poniéndonos ready, que tengo que ir para Colombia. Ya hicimos un video en Colombia y de ahí a Puerto Rico. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. I just came back from uh, the Dominican Republic like a week and a half ago. Haciendo una par de proyectitos allá, so, uh -huh. estamos trabajando, mucho trabajo. Sí, y sigue trabajando por ahí. Yo, no, no, no falla, no falla, sigue trabajando. Porque los latinos aquí, tú ves que eso va para Santo Domingo, Colombia, y todo eso, y sigue trabajando, me gusta eso. No, gracias. Y hoy tú a verlo, cuando cogen break, cuando vengo para atrás, tú a verlo a él cantando y todo. So, no falla, no falla, coge break, pero venga para atrás para, para verlo cantando y eso. Pero dile eh, social media y todo. Bueno, mi gente, me pueden buscar en Instagram, Sabi Oficial, underscore, s a b -Y, Oficial, underscore, en YouTube, Sabi Low, en todas las redes, Sabi Low. There you go. Hey, this is Charles Aloma, the 152nd Festival for the fourth year. We're going to keep continue going and going and going. So watch them the next days. We'll be right back. Gracias. Hello, I'm Charles Aloma, and I'm proud to announce the new internet television station called LDM Network. And on this station, we're gonna be bringing you live talk shows, music reviews, independent music artists, videos, sports, live events, and much, much more. Go to www.ldmnetwork.net for more information and all the shows that are gonna be on this network. Again, that's www ldmnetwork.net and hey if you are an independent artist or you love to hear independent music go to our new radio station called LDM Radio go to www.ldmradio.com for more information on where to listen or submit your music hello and welcome to the LDM show and I'm honored to here to be with one of the board members and everybody because this is our fourth year in a row being here and Thank you. 
it helps. Uh, but yes, like I said, it's a really great talent. Uh, I'm trying to support the really important people in the community. So I love it. Uh, now, as a community uh, based event, what do you want to see? Actually, just folks just continuing to show their support beyond coming here to wait flags and dance and food and all that time. That's all important. Also, we have the support to show their support. Uh, we have a scholarship program that actually got $200,000 in scholarship for the year. We just have to check with the $200,000. And uh, we need to make sure that you can go on our website, you can check with them, go on our Facebook page. It's more like you should be getting all the people who can get some. I was just going to ask you if we got the email about the scholarship. You know, if we got an email from the guy who was so make sure we know what's going on, and then I promote it on the show. So, part of my job as an entrepreneur is to promote things that are going on in the Latin world. And this community in here, the second, is one of the best ones I've ever been in the city center. So, you know, I'm like very close. But um, when I see everyone raising their flag, like I said, raise their flag. Seen that the New York Aquarium was doing up and stuff for the kids. You were beautiful. Uh, I love things like that, especially with the community. What else can they do to help on your website? Like, can they contact somebody to help volunteer? Yeah, there's a board of Facebook where you can get volunteers. People can send us messages on Facebook to volunteer with people in the community. On Look her at her face. chicken legs. <laughs> oh my god. How short is that skirt? <laughs> I can't believe she'd even put that on. <laughs> is that her dress? It's not even on her hardly. It's not even covering her up. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. How can she do her hair like that? I don't even know how this girl has friends. I saw her talking to Holden the other day. Who does she think she is? I bet she slept with the whole football team. She's not even pretty. She's gained so much weight. She looks like a cow. <laughs> Such a good idea. Watch this. <laughs> You're good. Oh my god, that's so funny. You gotta post that. <laughs> I got an idea past this.
So, uh, hey, hey, can I say something first? Talk, talk, talk. Oh, okay, well, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm about to talk. Wait. Okay. Okay. Let me get right. camera ready. Let me fix my eyebrows. Oh, you got to fix your eyebrows and everything? Oh, my God. We don't got time like that. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. So how, so how are you doing today? I'm good, brother. How you doing? What's your name? My name is Charles, and this is the LDM Show. Well, my name is Noodles, and the girl with her hand up my hiney, that's Madam Bullet. Oh. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> so how are you doing today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Tengo mucho orgullo. Puerto aquí en Puerto Rico, mini Puerto Rico. Oh, my. I guess he's excited for being here in Puerto Rico. But even though we're in the Bronx, but he said... That's so true, because they, they asked me what part of Puerto Rico was I born, and I say the Bronx. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mi papa son del Naranjito, pero yo soy del Bronx. They asked me where from Puerto Rico I'm from, and I say the Bronx. No. Yeah. No. Right? See. Si. See. Si. No. <laughs> you know? So, so how you feeling? You've been, you, you know, you up, everybody's around you today. How you feeling today? I'm good. I'm excited. Nice to meet the ladies. Nice to meet the kids. Nice to see everybody here. I'm happy to be Puerto Rican. I'm proud to be a fellow Bronxite. This is exciting. I can't wait to the National Puerto Rican Day Parade. All right. Well, I see like you're a chef. What's your favorite food? Oh, okay. Noodles. Anything with pasta, baby. If it's if it got carbs, it's for me. Oh, carbs. You like all the carbs? Carbs. Carbs, cheese, carbs, cheese, carbs, cheese. You know cheese is the fat girl's candy, right? Hey, hey so I got to get some cheese? You got Are you a fat girl? No. All right, then. Okay. You know she's a fat girl, though, right? You know she's a fat Well, girl. she's not fat. She's just well-rounded. You know. Well, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> So where can they find you and where can they book you for, for events and stuff? All right, so if you want to book me for events, all you got to do is go to my owner's Instagram. That's madam underscore bullet, M-A-D-A-M-E underscore B-U-L-L-E-T. Or you can find us on our website. You know about our website, right? Yeah, yeah. My website is bitethebullet.rocks. You know, like rocks like an archaeologist. You know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. Rocks like rock star like an archaeologist. Oh, there we go. So... Hey, it got funny. Check him out. They are like, oh, oh, he's going to talk. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right. So this is a soft start to my tour. The Bronx Puerto Rican Day Parade is where I get my start for my tour. I'll be going from here to Las Vegas, to Los Angeles, Miami, New Orleans, Atlantic City, London, and then back to New York for the parade. Oh wow, you're traveling. You're traveling. Hey, check them out, you know, and, and support because this guy is funny. We're going to have to have him on our studio. You know, you, you want to come to our studio live? Absolutely. I'll make sure that she gives you my card. Oh, there we go. There we go. Your people call my people. All right. All right. My people call your people? All right. We do that. We do that. We do that. Are, are you going to bring, bring noodles? I will bring noodles for you. There we go. There we go. Hey, check them out. This is the LDM show bringing you the funniest the laughters, and we're going to continue. So watch them and... If you're on the tour line, make sure you check them out. See, see, see you later. All right, high five, high five. There we go. Good. <laughs> As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. <coughs> that guy's put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, were you expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LBM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to light. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. 
But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. This is Charles Aloma and the LDM Show, and we're here again at the 152nd Festival. So I had to bring another, uh, you just perform, right? Real quick, just say your name. My name is Green God. So you perform today, this is your first year? This actually, I performed nine years ago. This is my anniversary. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, like perform. came back from the yeah. start. Harder than ever. Man. So how was the crowd today? It was great. It was great energy. You know, the people, it was, it's very full. It's very full, very yeah. high capacitated. And you know, they gave me the energy that I needed to do, you know, so I could terminate. Yeah. So the song that you uh, performed today, tell me a little bit about it. Well, I have the song called Tumba, which is one of the songs I performed. It's on all platforms, Spotify and, you know, all the, all the other ones. And um, yeah, it's actually, um, it's called Tumba, but it's about, you know, a woman who's a traicionera and, you know. Uh -huh. And all that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's one of the themes. And then the other one is called uh, Suerte, which is sampled with uh, Hector Lavo. Mm. You know, Dia de mi Suerte, and it's called Suerte. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people know that song, and you just made a little twist to it. Right. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. So coming back here, how does that feel? Like it was it overwhelming. Like you know, it was actually like um, just like you know. <sighs> like, you know, like, okay, it was good. You know, it's time to take a little drink, you know, and relax and, and enjoy the, the, the festival like the rest of the crowd, you know? Yeah, which is good. You know, you guys got to send your songs in to play on the radio station as well, you know, and be part of the uh, LDM Music Awards. So sure. check that out, you know. But tell them real quick where they can find you, where they can download the uh, songs, I don't know everything. Okay, well, you can download my songs on all platforms, uh, Spotify, iTunes, um, all platforms, even Pandora, Green God. And um, you can find me on IG, Dios Verde. Uh, it's spelled the right way, Dios Verde. And yeah, I follow me, I'll follow you back. There you go. Oh, I like that. Some people, some <laughs> yeah. people might be like, just follow me, bro. I don't know you, so I ain't following you back. <laughs> that's what I say. Follow me, I'll follow you back. <laughs> hey, that's good, that's good. So, you know, I wish you all the luck, you know, continue, and then hopefully I can hear your song on our radio station, and we can go from there, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so, so. much. I appreciate it, definitely. I'm, willing, I'm looking forward to being a part of that. No problem. Hey, this is the LDM Show. Make sure you listen to all the independent artists at LDMRadio.com and continue voting for the music awards. You never know. He might be the artist of the year. You never know what's going to happen. So continue on the votes and we see you next year. Thank you, brother. No problem, no problem. He's got me. He's guilty.